Bro, I swear, if every chapter in the final saga of One Piece is like this, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be able to handle it. All right, let's talk about chapter 1058 of One Piece titled The New Emperor. Before I get into this video, if you do want more One Piece content, anime content, manga content, I discuss anime and manga every single week. Make sure you subscribe, turn on that post notification bell. That way, the next time I do upload, you're notified. So the chapter starts off with the Straw Hats on the Sunny. Nami is upset with Luffy for obviously endangering the crew. And there's a scene where Jinbei's trying to calm her down. He's like, it's okay, we all made it out fine. And then Nami gets mad and she's like, Jinbei, don't spoil him, right? And you could see like black lightning coming out of her and Jinbei's like, wait, conquerors hockey? Now, I know it's just a joke, but hey, there might be a chance that Nami might actually have conquerors hockey. This joke was also used with Zoro and take a look, Zoro now has conquerors hockey. The news crew then arrives on the ship and I feel like it's always Robin that gets the news. And Robin sees all the bounties of the Straw Hats, okay? And it, they're actually called the Nine Commanders now. So instead of having three commanders, Luffy is like Blackbeard. Blackbeard has the 10 Titanic captains and Luffy has his nine commanders. So we get to see all of these Straw Hat bounties. So we're going to go over them in order. Chopper's bounty now increased to a thousand instead of a hundred. And you could see he's still mad about that. He's, he's a little bit salty. Nami now has a 366 million berry bounty. So she increased into the hundred millions. Brooke has a 383 million berry bounty. Uh, Frankie has a 394 million berry bounty, but the picture they used for his bounty poster is a picture of the Sunny, and he's kind of upset about that. That's kind of funny. Then we have Usopp who raised to 500 million, which is, you know, drastically a big improvement. Then we have Robin, which thank you. Thank you to the One Piece gods. Robin, I've always claimed this, that Robin deserves a higher bounty than a lot of these straw hats. And now she has a bounty that's fitting of that, right? She has a bounty of 930 million, which obviously the information that Robin holds, she deserves a bounty th that high because she poses one of the biggest threats to the world government. So that makes a ton of sense to me, right? Then we see Blackleg Sanji and his bounty is 1 billion 32 million. Then we have Jinbei, surprisingly Jinbei is above him at 1 billion 100 million. And then we have Zoro who sits at 1 billion 100 million and 1100 a very odd number and you can see sanji's upset with his bounty sanji who wants a higher bounty than zoro and zoro's like hey jimbei don't worry about number four because sanji's jealous towards jimbei this reminds me of sabo odi when zoro was referring to people by their the number they appeared on sabo odi that was hilarious and then we see luffy's bounty obviously we already saw it last chapter it was three billion so we already know that we then get to see how cross guild was like there is so much that happened in this chapter i can't like I can literally make a separate video on each certain scene that we got. And that's how much we got, right? So then we cut to Cross Guild and see how Cross Guild was formed. So obviously Cross Guild wasn't formed by Buggy. It was actually formed by Mihawk and Crocodile, specifically Crocodile. Crocodile's technically the founder. Crocodile called Mihawk up. He's like, hey, I know you're running from the world government. Maybe we could team up and I think it would be beneficial. And obviously Crocodile happened to be and Crocodile was in Buggy's territory and Cro Buggy owed Crocodile was like, hey, you owe me money, pay up, whatever, blah, blah, blah. And Buggy's like, hey, I don't have money. I have to feed everyone. But you know what? You could just use us. And then Crocodile's like, okay, sure. I'll, I'll use your whole organization you have going here. So then we get to see Crocodile, Buggy and Mihawk's bounty, which this is probably my favorite part of the chapter. So Crocodile's bounty is 1,965,000,000 berries, which like hey that's insanely high right crocodile this is a character that was beaten by a pre-gear luffy pre-gear luffy this was a character beaten by that right obviously i do think that crocodile has gotten stronger i, I definitely think he has some sort of hockey he's also very intelligent and they, they even mentioned that then you have mihawk whose bounty sits at 3.5 billion berries it's actually 3 billion 590 million and they even say he's the strongest swordsman and he surpasses red hair in terms of skill and then the final scene cuts to the Revolutionary Army and we have Dragon and basically discussing, hey, I don't know why Sabo would kill uh, King Cobra. And then we have Kuma there and Kuma's like, uh, Dragon says to Kuma, say Kuma, just what have you witnessed? And Kuma says, your wish is my command. And then Sabo calls on the Denden Mushi and Koala answers and he's like, it's me, Sabo. And that is the entirety of the chapter, basically summarized in four minutes. This was honestly one heck of a chapter. This, this is one of those chapters where like, hey, if we got this chapter a year ago, right, during Wano, this would have been like literally trending everywhere. But because we've gotten so many hype chapters back to back, 
it's just another chapter for us now. Like, I feel like every chapter we've gotten in this final saga has literally been a hit. This is another hit, okay? This is another, this would technically be another 10 out of 10 chapter. Now, I can't keep giving 10 out of 10s because literally every chapter during this final saga has been a 10 out of 10. I need to start being more strict with my ratings with One Piece because One Piece has literally been on, like, literally on fire. So, during the final saga, a 10 is going to be something completely out of this world. So this will be an 8 or a 9. Very good chapter. Amazing. But if I give this a 10, I'm literally going to give every chapter of One Piece a 10. And I can't do that. So very, like literally amazing chapter. I, I really don't have anything else to say. But listen, if you enjoyed this video, if you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Please do subscribe. If you enjoyed this video at all, hey, hit that subscribe button.